YouTubers, this is the Computer Geek 01010101 here, and, and this is kind of an unusual video because what you're seeing there is actually a uh, floor lamp kit, which I'm going to be putting together in to replace a long since worn out and torn apart uh, little desk lamp, which can't be put back together. Unfortunately, I did not even think to get a pair of scissors so that I could even open the box. But then again, there are other tools around here. Kind of like this very tiny flathead screwdriver. Excuse the noise, the TV's on. And this is my uh, grandma's uh, front room. So. Let's go ahead and open it up. See, got some more tape to undo around these flaps. I do not know what state condition this is in, but this is new in box. Oh, I need this tape to sign enough. I totally forgot about this tape, and, you're, and I'm pretty sure you were about screaming at your monitor or whatever device you're using it as a display. Okay, I see some uh, styrofoam. Cleaning. That's a styrofoam. Let's see if I can get this out of the box without either crashing the styrofoam or the box or vice versa. You trash the styrofoam or the box or, or the box of the styrofoam, vice versa. I'm pretty sure this is going to be pretty interesting. Isn't it? You, as you may or may not know, I do like electrically related stuff, and this lamp does not come pre-wired. Oh, good word, I think I'm going to have to open it the other end. <laughs> well, I think I didn't put up my screwdriver, and I'm going to need to turn it over. Look at it in. Okay, turning it over does not help in getting the contents of this package out of the box. Now that I know exactly how to open this thing, I'm going to do that on the other side. You know, it's good to know that this is all in a little self-contained kit. I, don't have, I hope I don't have to get tools. Maybe this box has it. Maybe I'm pretty sure this comes with its own set of tools. But uh, again, this is new in box, so I don't know the state condition. Okay, have it open. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on over and literally shove the package out of the box. And literally pull the box off. Off from around the package. Yes, it sounded weird, didn't it? Yeah. As, as usual, you have your staticky uh, styrofoam packaging that you surely would not want to get any type of computer component around, or else you're probably going to have pretty bad luck getting into work next time you actually attempt to use it. Let's go ahead and cut the tape on the side. On the side of this box. Oh, good lord. Oh, joy. I broke it in half. Didn't even see the tape in the middle. Cute, cute user screaming at computer. Okay. Sunlight lamp. Sunlight lamp. Five foot floor lamp. 
Okay. Okay, number one, take all the lamp parts out of the carton and put them aside. Yep. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is a heavy base. remove the black rubber bushing that surrounds the wires in the base. is used for protecting the wires and shipment and must be removed before simply. Take the flex pole, which is this, and thread its power cord to the lower pole. Okay. Should be a pretty easy job. Just need to remove this obnoxiously long bag. Thread the power cord. Okay, just through. Okay. Take the flex pole. Twist the lower pole clockwise, clockwise and the flex pole taking care not to pinch the wires. The illustration. Using the lock, using the lock connectors. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay. You have enough, have enough room. Okay. Connected and okay, connected. Four, carefully tuck excess power cord in the lower pole. Do not cut or shorten the power cord. You don't say, huh? Careful. Insert the flex pole into the, in the lower pole into the base. Very finicky. Very fiddly. As your XW Bill would say in this situation. Screw into the truck. Okay, what screw? I'm really supposed to be a screw.
one part. This metal piece. It's a screw. Supply screw. Huh. Okay, I just dug a screw out. It's flat. Flat head, the screwdrivers, the screwdrivers flat head. So I mean, when? Okay. Yeah, these little fill, these flat heads are a bit filly. I've always noticed these flathead screws are always a bit fiddly when it comes to being moved. Just on the ground. I guess it's annoying. Okay, this is better. Okay. And that's been rammed into the hole. A pre-installed electrical light bulb. Apparently it's just a matter of, apparently now it's just a matter of undoing the little twist tie thing that secured the cord while it was in transit. And I don't know how you managed to tuck the zip tie under itself. Okay, it's, it's 
It's a polarized plug with live being the side of the plug that isn't that isn't that is not enlarged. Going to lift this up. Go over here. Plug it in. No, well, plug it on camera that is. You may or may not have just seen my dog Landon. Yeah, we're gonna plug this in and see if we can't <laughs> accidentally trip a breaker or something. Remember, I did have to supply my own screw. So, here we go. Well, I didn't trip a breaker. Here we go. And it works. But you know what? Just for the laws, let's shine that right into the camera. Yeah. Hey guys, if you have very bright screens, please take this opportunity to pause the video and turn your brightness down. Three, two, one. I'm surprised autofocus, the uh, automatic gain control. Whoa! I can't believe it's letting me do that. <laughs> it's like, oh my gosh, what an effect! It's like light and nothing else. It's like you turn on the line, it faced the black, and you have something like that. Well then. Did an autofocus adjust? Okay, go ahead and, go ahead and pull this up. You know, I'm not even stopping the camera to do to do, the, to do this. I haven't even locked the tilt control on the camera. Well then. This is ecomputergeek 0101010101 here. Peace out, guys. Peace out.